Hello. In this video, I will be introducing you to the floor, ceiling, and fractional part functions. These are not generally taught in high school classes, but I've seen this being part of the lessons in calculus classes, particularly in the first part where the, the limits are being discussed. These are some um, interesting properties which are quite useful to discuss continuities and a domain range in calculus and pre-calculus classes. Uh, for this video, I will be only introducing this, but in the next videos, which will be quite a lot, I will be solving some problems and I will be showing you some solutions and approaches to solving problems involving this. So let's start. For the floor function, this is also known as the greatest integer function, and the function provides the largest integer lower than or equal to a number of uh, x. So ginagawa niya is, parang in simplest terms, nira round down niya yung number. So for example, if you have 1.43 and you get the floor of that, you get 1. Essentially, you round 1.43 down to 1. 1 being the closest integer, the largest integer, uh, lower than 1.43. Then if it's an integer, of course, the largest integer is itself. So the, the floor of 165 is just 165. The floor of 0 is 0. The floor of negative 2 is negative 2. Then you get the floor of pi. Since pi is 3.14 something, then the floor is 3. Uh, among of them, uh, the, the floor function of a negative number is often the most uh, confusing if you get the floor of negative 5.3, that's not negative 5, that's negative 6. Because negative 6 is the largest number, largest integer, lower than negative 5.3. Negative 5 is larger than negative 5.3, so we don't take that. Next, for the fractional part, uh, its definition hinges on the definition of the floor function. It's actually defined as a difference between a number and its floor. So in notation, it's this. The fractional part x is equivalent to x minus its floor. So for example, the floor, uh, the fractional part of 1.43 is 0.43. And then 165, the floor of this is 0. And then the floor of negative 5.3, ito medyo nakakalito lang ulit, it's positive 0.7. The, floor fo the fractional part is always uh, positive, actually non-negative. Its value ranges from 0 Pwede siyang maging 0 if the number is an integer and uh, up to 1. It will not, however, be equal to 1 kasi uh, if, if the fractional part is 1, it's, it, it means that you are already reaching the other integer. So, hindi na siya yung fractional part. Yet, we'll discuss some other properties of this later on. For the ceiling function, it's like the floor function except that you're getting... Uh, the smallest integer greater than or equal to the number x. If yung floor function is a round down, the ceiling function is round up. So for example, the, the ceiling of 1.43 is 2 because uh, you're rounding up and the closest one is 2. The floor of uh, the ceiling of an integer is always the same integer. So the, the ceiling of 165 is always 165. The ceiling of pi is 4 because pi is 3.14 something, so you round that up, so magiging uh, 4. And for a negative number, the, the ceiling of a negative number is, uh, hindi kagaya siya nung, nung floor kanina na pabalik, pa, pa, pa lower than, ito pa greater than. And since negative 5 is uh, the smallest integer greater than negative 5.3, therefore the ceiling of negative 5.3 is negative 5. Yes? So let's discuss naman the domain and range of these functions. Uh, if you forgot, uh, let's recall, domain is a set of all permissible values of x, while the range is the set of all permissible values ni y. Now yung domain and range ni floor and ceiling functions ay parehas lang. Domain nila ay, actually silang lahat pare-parehas na ang domain nila is all real numbers. Ibig sabihin, you can plug in any real number and you'll get a value. The range, however, magkaiba sila. For floor and ceiling, parehas silang nasa set ng, ng integers, pero yung fractional part is always uh, between 0 and 1, where 0 may be uh, the case. 
Ito yung minention ko kanina na uh, lagi siyang nasa interval lang ng 0 to 1. Pero hindi siya magiging 1 ever. Pwede siya maging 0, pero bawal siya maging 1. Mas madali natin makikita yung properties na to if we look at the graph. For this one, this is the, the graph of a floor function. So para siyang staircases na pataas ng pataas. Take note na yung left, left side ng bar is always shaded while the right one is uh, hollow. Kasi, for example, this point, this is uh, 1, 0. The floor of 1 is not 0. It's not 0. It's, it's 1. Pero yung, yung immediately before 1, for example, point 99, the floor of that is 0. Kaya ganito yung itsura niya. So, paakyat ka ng paakyat. So, the floor of a negative number, for example, negative 2.5, it's here. And this between negative 2 and 1, so its floor must be negative 2. Yet? Yet. Now, for this, the fractional part function, yung graph naman niya is paslant. nag increase siya from 0 to 1. Again, pwede siyang maging 0. Ito yun, nasa baba. Ito yung mga, mga solid dots. That's 1. And then yung upper part, yung end upper or yung right-hand side part nung line is a hollow dot kasi bawal siyang maging 1 ever. So yung kaya yung range niya, 0 to 1 lang. Yung graph niya, wala siyang laman outside 0 to 1. Tinan to. From 1 above, wala na. And then below 0, wala na rin. So ito lang yung graph niya. And lastly, the graph of a ceiling function, kamukha lang siya nung, almost, almost kamukha lang siya nung, nung, fraction, nung floor function. Except na parang na-shift siya and nabaliktad yung hollow at saka solid. For this one, yung solid part muna is nasa right. Then the hollow part is nasa left. Which para lang, lang yung explanation nito dun sa uh, floor function a while ago. So for some interesting properties, as uh, again, by definition, x is equal to the sum of of the floor and the fractional part. So for example, 3.4 is equal to 3 plus 0.4. So parang round down mo to, ito yung floor, and then yung fractional part nga, yun yung 0.4. And then if x is an integer, then yung, yung ceiling mo, tsaka yung floor pares lang, and it's equal to x. Pero pagka hindi siya integer, never mangyayari yun. Kasi yung, three, yung floor in 3.4 is 3, tapos yung ceiling in 3.4 is 4. Clearly, that's not equal. And clearly, that's not equal to 3.4. And then another one is, if you get the floor of x plus k, it will be the floor of x plus k if and only if k is an integer. So for example, 3.4 plus 4 is equal to the floor of 3.4 plus 4, and that's equal to 7. However, you can't do that kapag ka hindi siya integer. I mean, yung k hindi integer. So look at this one. Siyempre, hindi sila equal. This alone, kasi may 3 plus 4.2, that has a decimal, and hindi na siya integer. Therefore, hindi siya satisfy. And lastly, if you get the floor of x and then add that to the floor of negative x, there are only two possible values, namely 0 and negative 1. It's 0 if x is an integer and negative 1 otherwise. So for this one, for example, the floor of 3 plus the floor of negative 3 is 3 plus negative 3, and that's 0. But if if it's if the number is 3.4, then you get 3 plus negative 4, which is negative 1. This is always the case, regardless of which number you pick. So it matter lang if it's an integer or not an integer. Get? So that's it for this video, and quite simple lang naman yung video na to. This is just an introduction, but the later parts are, uh, uh, are requiring this part, kaya I had to discuss this one muna. So, see you in the next videos. Sana panoorin nyo. And I'm hoping you learned something from this video and I'm also hoping na panoorin nyo yung next. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.